Hey bro chacherinos and bro chacherinas, how's it going guys, Barofist and welcome to another video uh, Today is the third of this series video, uh, th 3 out of 4 basically That it's uh, based on uh, how to level stuff with a uh, 101 twink or level 101 twink uh, Today we're in Altarian layer but I've done 2 before this uh, It's lots of random info inside, if you haven't checked them out already uh, I'm really recommending you to check them out, not because I will get views, because you will get a lot of uh, random stuff that I'm talking during during the dungeon. You will see what I'm talking in this dungeon and similar stuff will be happening in the previous two and the next one of this series. So yeah, this is Neltarion Lair. Uh, Neltarion Lair is one of the fastest dungeons uh, for boosting out of all these four that you can do. Which is High of Ajara, House of Valor, Dark Heart Ticket and Noltarion's Lair. Uh, we're gonna pull in Noltarion's Lair, uh, there is the first mechanic in this dungeon is to, pu to pull all these guys if you're geared enough to do that, of course. Uh, and kill them here, you know. Because if you jump down with this, you know, with these stones and with this worm and everything, they'll get stuck in this uh, waterfall somewhere and they will reset, the boss will reset as well, so you're gonna have to spend more time waiting for the boss to respawn than actual killing these mobs, so I would suggest you here to not uh, pull these, uh, you know, things down. What the hell, why I cannot, why I cannot target him with my main attacks? Well, there you go, works now. Skinning. Don't skin here, I mean, it's kinda lame, you know, you have like four people following you for experience, and you just stay there and skin like a, you know, yeah man, I, I care about those 30 gold there. <laughs> they paying like 3000, right? <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna pull these mo uh, mobs and jump down and pull the boss straight away because there is no need to lose time. Uh, I said in the start 6 to 10 minutes, but that is all if I have flask, if I have potion, if I have food and everything on me, you uh, like to have bear tatare as food on, on you always because um, the that uh, food give you speed, you know, like 70% speed in 4 or 5 seconds every time you kill a mob, you know, and you're gonna be killing a lot of mobs here you can even target like random no health mob and kill it and it will pop, you know, proc there are lots of mobs like that, you know, like mini worms, mini, I don't even know what those are like crocodiles or something, frogs and you're gonna proc this stuff uh, I suggest you to pop all the cooldowns you have on this boss uh, the longer ones, basically, not AoE, like I will not pop uh, Sindragosa's Fury, but like Breath of Sindragosa will definitely go off here, so I would suggest you to pop all those cooldowns, because this boss has the most HP in this dungeon, and it's probably the the one that will require also drums, if you have drums, you know, to uh, save up on some, I mean, to get some more speed out of the run. So yeah, Bear Tartare gives you speed. Uh, and you can have the sprint around you all the time, you know, you can run all the time uh, with with that sprint. Now, I haven't really, um, I haven't really uh, had the time to pick up any bear tatare right now, but I'm usually using it on the DK because the DK is one of the slowest class when it comes to, you know, mobility. So, DK has the least mobility uh, out of every other class, you know, you have only this stuff, this long cooldown, like really long, and that's all. And it increases your speed for 3 seconds by 70%, and that's all, you know, every 45 seconds. Uh, so you need to walk most of the dungeon, so that's why Bear Tartare will come uh, good here, and also it will increase your clear speed, and will increase you, your gold per hour, because you have like, uh, like, people were asking me in the previous videos, I'm gonna also answer some comments from the previous video comments uh, here. And uh, I would say people were asking me a lot, like, how much you're charging per dungeon for these runs, you know, so they can have reference on how much they should charge. Uh, I've, been, I've been charging for like 2k, 3k per run, uh, quite constantly. And that was pretty nice goal, because if you have 4 people following you around and all of them paying you like 3000 gold per dungeon. Oh, by the way, kill this crocodile while you're moving, because he does like stone gaze and you need to either keep him on focus and interrupt him every time he casts that, or you gotta kill him fast, or you gotta interrupt him or grip him or stump him all the time, you know, it's kinda bad, and yeah. So yeah, imagine if you have like 4 people following you around and paying you 3000 uh, gold per run, you know. You have, uh, that's 12,000 gold, and if you do those 12,000 gold in let's say 6 minutes per dungeon, 12,000 gold each 6 minutes, that is quite a lot of gold if you agree with me, you know. And... Imagine you, instead of 6 minutes, I spend 10 minutes, you know, I, I refuse to use Bear Tartare because I'm gonna save like 50 gold per food or something 
And I'm gonna save up some gold by, by not using bear tartare, but I'm gonna lose 4 minutes in the process increasing, I mean decreasing the gold that I'm getting from all this boost by, I don't know, like 20-30%, which is quite a lot, you know, 20% is, uh, how much? 2400 gold, right? Per, uh, run. And that per hour, it depends how many thing, how, how many runs you're gonna do per hour, right? But I'm generally doing from uh, 70,000 to 100,000 per hour. That's my average when I'm doing these boosts, kind of, you know, so... Yeah, but I'm not doing them now much because... I don't know, I don't feel like boosting people up. I'm currently playing Overwatch quite a lot as well, you know, I'm trying to train myself to be the top 500 or whatever it's called. That highest rank over there, so yeah. Alright, I'm gonna pop some cooldown here as well to kill all these mobs because they're stunning or something. So yeah, that will be good stuff to do. Uh, so yeah, man, I'm not really doing this stuff often, but when I'm doing it, it's like a quick way of getting some high amount of gold, you know? Which is pretty good. I can log in for 3 hours, I make uh, enough gold for token. And then I don't log in for a while, you know, that's how much it earns me. Oh, yeah, on second mechanic you need to pay attention to, it's this, uh, this stone thingy here, you know, you gotta follow it where it goes. Man, I've, I've lost it, fuck. I thought this is the one, but it's not, I guess. I've lost it, doesn't matter. Uh, it's gonna kill the middle one. That's, that's what, that's my rule, you know. When you're drunk and you see two tree, uh, like three trees in front of you, if you need to shoot at the tree, shoot the middle one. That's usually, that's usually true, most of the cases. Now it's not, but it doesn't matter. This is 1%. No, but honestly, uh, even if you don't, you know, I three shot these totems and they're, you know, it's, I'm, I'm losing. You know, when I'm doing this focus, like when I'm not talking a lot, when I'm not really thinking about what I'm gonna say next or something like that, uh, it's going pretty good, you know, it's, I, I, when I'm focused on the game, I will do everything here perfectly, I will watch on them, I'm usually using this, you know, I'm not, to not see any nameplates or anything like that will confuse me, so, yeah, but yeah, they said I'm trying to actually explain stuffs here and I will not really focus on, uh, on the gameplay that much, so that's why probably the video is currently 7 minutes long, you know, it should be, the run should be done now, if I had flask and food and everything, I, yeah, but, uh, people are asking me, hey man, do you think that, uh, actually they were not asking, some people are actually stating that they could do the same stuff as I am doing here. Solo the dungeon is level 110. Uh, uh, and some people are claiming, yeah, I can do the same, you know, I can do the same as you are doing. Uh, first, uh, as level 110, yes, you can do this, indeed. You can solo the dungeon. However, the second thing is that you will never be able to do the s at the same speed or at the same pace or the same stuff as me, you know, because I'm a twink and my stats are pretty crazy, you know. These mobs are scaled down to me, but I'm like 10 levels above them because I have the gear for 10 levels above them, you know. And even though this gear is not 930 as some 110 will have, either way, you're doing a lot more damage than the level 110, you know, because if you, uh, if you invite your friend that is level 110, it's overgeared, in a normal dungeon, you go with the twink, you will still be top DPS, you know, because he is downscaled or the mobs are upscaled or I don't even know how that works, you know, and also, these stats that I currently have, uh, how much I have, 52% of mastery, in the same time as having 58% of haste and 46% of critical strike as a level 110 is science fiction. You will never be able to do that. You will never be able to have these stats, you know, so that's just complete bullshit. You can never do this with the same speed as I'm doing. Because twinks are designed to do shit like this, you know. Man, why I'm here? Like, I should, I'm, a, I'm supposed to attack the boss, you know, but these mobs are just pulling to them and, uh, I'm getting annoyed, you know. Alright, so he gonna pull me now and he gonna stun me for like uh, 3 seconds and try to eat me alive. Which will not happen, of course. He gonna devour me for a while there. Alright. Oh god, where the hell the I am? Oh. That camera moving though. Amazing. Why cannot zoom out? Oh, there it is. 
Hey, see, some things like this can happen. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but... Yeah, man. Uh, you should, like, when you're boosting people for experience here, you should use everything, guys. Don't save, don't, don't save uh, 30 gold, 50 gold on something, you know. It's just not worth to save up gold uh, on on food and and flask and potion it's just not the thing not the way to go okay. man hits me again what yeah I was kind of slow on this boss I was not really focused man he enraged he fucking enraged hello Wow, there was enrage timer for this guy. That's not really... Okay, let's see legendary. Yeah, you can farm legendary in these dungeons as well. You know, uh, these mobs have a chance to drop you legendaries. Any other 110 would have, and you can also use the legendary on level 101. So, dungeon boosting is not only gold profitable, but it's also, um, but it's also. Uh, Profitable for your char, you know, you get from all these mobs, you, every now and then you're gonna get brief history of the Aenons or whatever it's called. The thing that gives you artifact power that boosts your, uh, that boosts your, your traits. As you can see as Twink, I have 12 traits right now, including Sindragosa's Fury, this really, really powerful trait for boosting dungeons, you know. I can pull all these mobs here, pop my Pillar of Frost, and, yeah, I'm gonna pull the boss as well, but I, I will have to. Go here. Yeah, he's gonna. Yeah, I thought I had uh, Breath of Sinergosa, but I don't have. That would be even bigger craigasm. But man, I hate those guys over there. Oh yeah, now now that strike will kill me to full because I have ice bond for the There you go. Easy peasy. <clears throat> that rule, that rule. Okay. Uh, what else was? There was a question that some people asked me that I. F oh, how much? Uh, how much? Yeah, this is asked quite often actually in the previous two videos. I didn't answer in the previous video, but now I'm, I'm gonna try to answer. There is no answer, actually. Uh, people are asking me, hey man, how much... Uh, how much... Experience... The people that you're boosting are getting from these runs, you know? Uh, I cannot really answer you that uh, question for a couple of reasons. First reason would be that... I don't know, you know? I don't really... I'm not really interested, you know? People are pay me, paying me money, uh, basically gold, to do that stuff, and... I'm not really interested in how much gold, I mean how much experience they're get they're getting. That's the first thing. The second thing is that uh, I cannot really know how much they will get because uh, some people are rested, some people are half rested, depends on level, depends whether you have like any modifiers uh, on your char. I think from Dark Moon Fairy or something. I'm asking sometimes people to go to Dark Moon Fairy and get that buff that it's uh, giving you like how much 10% more experience or 20 and That's pretty useful as well for them. They're happier and they pay and you know when they're happy They would like to hire me again to do their boosts and it's pretty useful You know to know all that random stuff to suggest people because they will appreciate you. Oh, yeah, man Thank you a lot. I didn't knew this stuff. Yeah, it, it's a lot faster now, you know So you're saving him time and by saving his time he is willing to pay you again or pay you more or whatever, you know, so that's why I'm saying Oh, yeah, I'm gonna fly now man. Ah, Loving it Yeah, you're supposed to be next to the wall, but I couldn't be arsed now to go next to a wall So I felt like Leia, yeah, let's, let's just stay to the uh, Next to the To the boss here Whatever whichever pet He's going to choose to knock me to, I will endure. You know? So, yeah. Okay, the boss is dead, Notarium layer is done. They get 1900 uh, or 19,000 even uh, experience from this. I get some gold, some artifact power, I also got some loots 
case mastery head and some relic you might also get legendary as i said before you know lots of stuff man it's really profitable stuff to do this for gold for gold you can get legendary you can get i got how many today i got two blood hunter query i re-recorded re this three times it's the third time so i got in this three times i got two blood hunter query that will give me some seven or eight uh blood of sargeras that's pretty good so yeah that was all guys for notarius there it's as i said short dungeon even though it took I me mean, a bit longer to clear it up because i was not really focused uh but it's really short dungeon it's good for boosting and if you like this content uh, you know this kind of type of videos this type of videos uh like give it a time a thumbs up below and if you want to know about the other videos or other twinking stuff you're gonna find the link to this uh playlist uh about twinking in the description below including the previous two videos as well so uh, thank you all for watching guys, subscribe if you want to uh, see more of this stuff or other stuff like gold farming, leveling and etc etc. You can find a lot of things on my channel, feel free to subscribe and until the next time I've been winning forever bro, love you much guys, no homo, listen to your parents be good boys and battle office guys, see you in the next one, um, no.